to you. I just wanted to pop on live and show you guys how to make whipped cream in less than 30 seconds. So I'm sure you have all heard that commercial, oil or cream? Well, of course, which would you pick? An oil kind of uh, whipped cream type thing or fresh homemade whipped cream? Of course you would pick the fresh homemade whipped cream. And in the past, it would take a long time. You would have to uh, chill your bowls, chill your mixer, chill all the ingredients, and whip until your arm fell off or use a stand mixer. Well, this is our whipped cream maker and it makes whipping cream super easy and in less than 30 seconds. Hey Beth, thanks so much for watching. I know you have a whipped cream maker at home. All right, so all you need for this are two ingredients or maybe three. So you need some heavy whipping cream, some powdered sugar, or and an extract if you wanted to use um, some kind of flavoring. You could do vanilla or if you wanted to do peppermint whipped cream or whatever flavor you like. I strictly just typically keep it to the cream and the powdered sugar. And FYI, I made this powdered sugar in my deluxe cooking blender in like not even a second. <laughs> All right, so you take the lid off and just so you know, the bottom here can convert to be um, a cap. So if you have any whipped cream left over, which uh, we usually don't, you can store it into your refrigerator. All right, so this is your base, so it makes it non-stick. There's a fill line, which is halfway up, and it's about a cup, so you just need to add your heavy whipping cream until you get to that line. And then you can add as much powdered sugar or no sugar um, as you like. So I typically add a tablespoon of powdered sugar, so I'm just gonna use my um, one tablespoon measuring spoon here and add the powdered sugar. By the way, um, this prep bowl keeps the storage of that homemade powdered sugar super easy. All right, so if you just make sure to snap your lid on and then it's in place. Now you can't be all wimpy like, you know, you can't be like this. You gotta put a little um oomph into it. So you just hold the base down. You can do it right or left handed and now all you do is pump. So if somebody wants to time me, Ready, set, go. So now all you do is pump up and down until you find it difficult to pump. Once it gets harder to pump, then you know that the cream is ready to go. Okay, I can feel it's getting a little harder. I can feel my muscles having to work a little bit more to pump it up and down. So I'm just gonna go a little bit farther with it. And once I slow down like I am, we're done. So I'll show you the finished product. Oh, I made a little bit of a mess. Let me wipe this mess up. All right, let me show you. Oh, there, look. Fresh, homemade, it's hard to find where the camera is. Fresh, homemade whipped cream. I'm not sure who was timing me, but I'm pretty sure that was 30 seconds or less. So anyway, I just wanted to pop on and show you that, guys, this um, Saturday afternoon, I thought a little bit of strawberries and fresh whipped cream would be really yummy after lunch. All right, I hope you guys are staying safe. Take care, have a great weekend. Bye.